the bible says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come this is a representation of your faith it's a token it's an expression of your faith there are people down please those following online just stretch your hands release your faith some of you have sent them believe that the god of heaven i cannot begin to tell you the kinds of testimonies that have come out we may not have the time to prophesy to everybody individually may not have time to minister to everybody but this is a representation of your desire the bible says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication it says with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known god wants to know what your request is hallelujah praise the lord and our request in one minute can you just stretch your hands to this and speak over it how forcible are right words the bible says in the name of jesus pray prophesy now those of you who are still being ministered to you just focus as the men of god minister to you but then we're stretching our hands and we're trusting for miracles please if there are still people it's important that we have the requests here in the name of jesus i'd like you to stretch your hands and declare lord these egyptians i see today in the name of jesus the son of the living god i see them no more forever is someone praying stretch your hands in the name of jesus in the name of jesus we release the spirit of faith we decree and declare in the name of jesus the workings of miracles supernatural testimonies by the power of the holy ghost from nation to nation from state to state from territory to territory we decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost turn again the captivity of zion like the streams of the negev in the name of jesus turn situations around we declare by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah in the name of jesus agree with me in the name of jesus Amen. and the apostle says lord behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son Amen. he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus and lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever these egyptians you see today in the name of jesus you see them no more forever my bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the lord had done great things for us he says the lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south
the bible says have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day but then he says as soon as zion travails he says she shall put forth her son i declare speed to every request here yeah. prophet joel speaking by the spirit said and i will restore the years let me tell you this real dominion is dominion over time no matter what you dominate if you do not dominate time you are not walking in dominion and i will restore the years many of us we've wasted time we've wasted opportunities in the name of jesus let there be restoration yeah. hallelujah now i pray for you listen every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we're wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible 
that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply it's true that a woman can be frying a cara and yet build from that business it's not a cara that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaves and two fish to feed five thousand people and still have 12 baskets full listen please hear me anything you do and i'm not stupid believe me i know what i'm saying anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you i like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that i pursue them with hunger desperation and honor so when we are gathered like this haven't received prayer for healing haven't received the word i think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing a new dimension either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have you can have the grace that makes for productivity but not have the grace for favor everything you have you work for that's not profitable you will not be able to give god glory the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men hallelujah are you ready to receive I have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and I've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders I've shared with you again and again my testimonies that I am a product of many anointings many anointings i like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and i know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life i'm like a spiritual archaeologist i thank god for that which is at work but i search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and I'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of God in this place. And if you can believe, you will be surprised. You see, I have prayed for many years and I will tell you this. You know that I love you. You are my people. I'm committed to your growth. Please listen to me. <clears throat> there is a grace I have prayed and cried to God over. That it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor i have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of god but 
I don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of God comes upon your life you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is the grace for favor that will call the kings of Tyre and Sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of God everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God favor accelerates destiny believe me it does it can take 10 years and put it in one year in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters that is what it means to be Beulah and Hefzibah. You become a delight. A delight in the name of Jesus. The favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints, I prophesy upon you, let it rest on your life now. Access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of God in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of Jesus I declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight <laughs> hallelujah the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even god thy god hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of jesus may that grace rest upon you yes. hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not god the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for joseph not god there are men who can help men all blessings come from god through men to men i declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands, your ministry, your business in this season and to see to it that you rise. In the name of Jesus, enjoy their ministry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I pray for every dead vision, every dead dream, that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression i give it life right now in the name of jesus can i pray for your family it says as for me and my house 
when you serve the lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house i pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of god <laughs> hallelujah acts chapter 12 the bible says on account of the gospel peter was caught after james was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the bible says and then it says that the angel of the lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate open it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression i speak to it Ephata, be open be open be open be open In the name of Jesus hear me I prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm i say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion i stand by the god of heaven and i shift you to the next level And everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us immediately they got a job I declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies <laughs> hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life we are done he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of Jesus, by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, Harusa Barashka Baranda Sibeta. In the name of Jesus, come back to life now. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. He says for behold i do a new thing i pray for you everything that does not represent the workings of god in your life in the name of jesus i declare that it fades with your yesterday and i open you up to a new season of supernatural manifestation we cannot just stand coronavirus we know is a spirit is not a virus can we agree we stand in agreement as the church of the lord jesus christ the ecclesia the body of christ we speak over the spiritual borders of nigeria the bible says pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we decree and declare we banish the workings of evil from our territory in the name of jesus
the virus dies and it leaves our borders and we pray for other nations of the world because he says in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed we use china as a point of contact the u.s and their people here u.s uk whatever nation you are standing representing we decree and declare coronavirus in the name of jesus we banish you from the nations of the earth the name that is above all names i prophesy to everyone who is trusting god for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad and you need the voice of god may you hear the voice of the lord in the name of jesus i prophesy clarity in the name of jesus you don't have to bring them out just just leave them you don't have to bring them out again we're out of time i prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of jesus may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now may the lord redirect your steps now anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures the bible says there is a way that seemed right you must be at the geography of your grace to drive and isaac sowed not everywhere in that land in the name that is above all names may you hear the voice of his majesty as you sleep tonight may you hear the voice of his majesty i pray for everybody here who is experiencing stagnation you are marking time and instead of you to make progress you are not moving by extension to every family in the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Manta kakaboko to paladapa. Mambre to skusete bele. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny. In the name of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. By the blood of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now sisters i open your marital doors now in the name of jesus no more shall this proverb be used in your life may the lord change your story hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of jesus the anointing that distinguishes you from today everywhere you go be distinguished now help them please so that they don't preach. be distinguished now be distinguished now no more will you be common no more will you be like the rest 
the hand of God is upon you no more will you be common I prophesy from the depths of my heart let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now all those trusting God for jobs let me there's nothing as joblessness the bible says he saw them idle and he said why standest ye idle and they say no man employ us he told them go to the vine when god speaks there must be job in the name of the lord jesus wherever your job is i don't care what the limiting factors are there is a superior advantage because you are in christ therefore i invoke man tato sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 hallelujah i pray for everyone called barren in this place anyone called barren in this place i declare to you according to the word of the lord that according to the time of life may you return with your miracle child may you return with your miracle child i speak it I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18. It says, Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, Four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Israel, against Jerusalem, and against Judah so that no man will lift up his head he said but i have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now Limitations be broken now. Limitations. I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Limitations be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Let the power of God break every limitation now. Hallelujah. He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings favor with destiny help us in the name of Jesus every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now we provoke their ministry now hallelujah 
whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around cycles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of Jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed I provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again he said master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah i pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage every family represented here he said as for me and my house not as for me alone as for me and my house hallelujah in the name of jesus may the fire of god may the fire of the holy ghost bring advancement in every family represented here i command every family make progress move forward make progress move forward move forward hallelujah i speak over everyone here and every family anyone marked for death anyone marked for death or earth i speak hear the word of the lord we forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here you remain immortal until your assignment is complete you do not live by the sword therefore you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism you are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ and for many who are students here mando in the name of jesus every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names i command be free from it now 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 therefore i release upon you the spirit of excellence receive the spirit of excellence on common speed academic exploits in the name of jesus hallelujah for every ministry every business everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names like the dry bones in the valley of ezekiel i command life to it now i command life now i command life now in the name of the lord jesus christ i command life now hallelujah everyone in ministry in this place i pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates i command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of jesus christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of jesus and anyone who is in ministry and you are confused you really don't know where you stand you don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing in the name that is above all names let there be clarity 
absolute clarity in the name of Jesus now lift up your hands I want to pray for your finances in the name that is above all names first and foremost I cause the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance I command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of Jesus I cause the spirit of greed let it be far from your life in the name of Jesus grace for you to be a faithful tither grace for you to be a faithful giver grace for you to be a kingdom investor may God give you wisdom may God give you favor may God bless the works of your hands therefore I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus God gives you wisdom God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting God and is saying Lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying Lord if there was a way I can turn the hands of time I prophesy to you there is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of Jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah I pray finally whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my God arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their God in the name that is above all names that God will arise for you my God will arise for you my God will arise for you now hold on there is the healing anointing that will come upon some people right now lift your hands father as many of those people right now right now right now it's going to come as fire I see liquid fire in the spirit go ahead and shout Jesus once one to go receive it the healing anointing the healing anointing the healing anointing receive it now inside and outside receive it now by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost someone hold Shade hold Shade so she doesn't fall hold her but the healing anointing is coming on her it's, it's, it's more of a scary because it has always been there it has always been there three of you hold your hands Ken, Kenya and promise hold your hands look at me in the name of Jesus take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost step into new levels new levels of the anointing new levels of the power of the spirit new dimensions in the spirit I'm going to pray for you father in the name of Jesus Christ we pray right now there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as I'm praying 
some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three i just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming i see it marriage is coming i see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek. someone wants to get married before december i see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the beer parlor the angel of the lord is going after them Father, you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let every prayer like request so yeah. coming on my head, and for those streaming online, I change it to be testimonies now. Please everybody stand in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody stand. I speak to you. I speak to you. Prayer request. Believe in the Lord, and that and which is established will share the word. Believe in His prophets. Become testimonies and, you shall and be delivered for God's people. In the name of Jesus, please lift your hands, everybody. Hallelujah. Give God thanks, it is done. Hallelujah. Please, as I speak, I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I prayed, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. things will change right now as i speak the angels of the lord will begin to move to the areas that i'm speaking all i need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to hallelujah Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now Peptic ulcer.
be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV 1 and 2 in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now. Every eye problem be gone now. Deafness in the ears go now. Any of your family members who is bedridden, whether for stroke, I'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Any kind of delay in this place, marital delay, or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay be gone one two three go 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well-being of your family. Right now. That altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for this favor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members i remove that embargo of this favor now 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 hallelujah hear me whatever the devil has stolen from your family whatever the devil has stolen in your life i stand as a servant of god this one is going to hit many people there are many families that need restoration i will shout restore at the count of three we're hurrying up we're out of time father let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place one two three take it take it take it take it i command restoration i command restoration take it take it take it take it restore restore
Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure be lifted now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians. But you have struggled with habits. Masturbation. Pornography. It's not like you are bad. You have been trying and trying to stop. It's eating your life. Whether for you or for your loved ones. Right now I pray. That embargo of darkness. Sin shall not have dominion. And I pray. Whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 anyone here looking for a job or your family members they've tried they've applied everywhere my bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the south nor the west i pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now take it take it i command miracle jobs Miracle jobs, miracle jobs in the name of Jesus. Those of us who are in business or your family members are in business, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever he doeth prospers i pray right now i command every business here grow in the name of jesus grow in the name of jesus expand in the name of jesus increase in the name of jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your family is at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you i don't care family problems god is visiting them now every family problem because god marked this miracle service for families every problem satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released i command peace i command prosperity i command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of jesus Hallelujah. i pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us i call you into the life of god's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth Hallelujah. 
and he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now whatever is dead come forth now hallelujah I release breakthrough into your life receive it all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds of breakthroughs you are well favored I pray for your spiritual life some of you your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the spirit of god let the angels of god look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it every power that is not of god must let you and your family go tonight hallelujah Father, visit your people. 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 Now, hear me. At the count of three. Mm. So I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te la katosota is a blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance lift your hands at the count of three i like us to shout that name that is above every other name i invoke the power of the kingdom i represent and i declare in the name of the lord jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names i speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept god's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three now 
Now, I command those powers. I command powers inside and outside in the overflow. Right now, right now, Marco Pocotos, Embrekete, Soto Prosketa, in the name of Jesus, I command judgment, judgment, every altar, every yoke. Outside, there are angels moving outside. There are angels with mighty swords outside. Soto to 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 to, makata pres, sopo seke, engrata ta ta. No power that ties your destiny will remain tonight. Embrekete, soto kota, mande brakata. Olekete brekete. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. All those in the overflow right to the second overflow at the back lift your hands lift your hands everybody outside in the name of jesus i want those outside to shout that name jesus and there are people i see chains chains around people at the count of three those outside the holy ghost is going to visit families there is fire that will fall outside are you ready now those outside one two three I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. <laughs> I'm hearing in my spirit the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the spirit of wisdom the Lord is asking me to count four one two three four take it now let it be yours strength wisdom I'm seeing mantles falling mantles falling Strange wisdom coming from heaven. Strange wisdom coming from heaven. Receive it right now. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Supernatural wisdom. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody who used to have dreams and everything you see will come to pass. But he stopped. Right now I'm seeing a grace for restoration coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus. It's not a general prophecy. There are exact people that this is happening to a restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration. A restoration Malakato Praska de Beka Shepratika Sabraka da Balanaba. Hallelujah. There is a grace. I feel like praying for students. There is a grace for academic excellence. Listen, it doesn't just happen. Believe me. It's not just about what you learn. There is a grace. There is a, an exact grace for this. Lord, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. I stretch my hands to your people. As many, oh God, as will please you. Let this baptism 
of this unction for extraordinary understanding let it come upon them right now at the count of three receive it now one two three take it now please help them receive that grace right now it's coming upon you extraordinary intelligence capacity to assimilate capacity to understand capacity to understand hallelujah hallelujah that fair lady that shared her testimony lift your hands i see an angel pouring something like fire on your head father in the name of jesus let us step into a level of extraordinary intelligence i don't know you but i release that grace upon you from today you a strange dimension of grace and intelligence in the name of jesus receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit receive it right now by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit There is a grace for entrepreneurship, creativity, witty inventions. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing at least 43 people. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let it come on them, oh God. Believe it, let it come on them, oh God. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come on them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands now. 43. I'm seeing a number 43. Strange ideas coming on your spirit now. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Strange ideas. Creative ideas. Receive it right now. I want to pray for those in ministry there is always an unction for the next dimension i don't know where you are but you're going to begin to feel fire from your feet rising upwards that's the instruction god is giving me in the name of jesus lord i'm praying right now fresh fire fresh mantle let it begin to arise now you are in ministry in this place begin to receive it right now in the name of jesus receive it right now in the name of jesus Receive it right now. Those in ministry, help them. Sheparo doso koto baria, lekete koto so preska la bariata. Zabrate so so preso koto. Strange fire. I see strange fire rising from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Rise on top from the feet. Please help them. In the name of Jesus, can you carry the child so that he doesn't? In the name of Jesus, strange fire. Revival fire, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction, supernatural unction. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me about a group of people here that He wants to bring into intimacy with Him. There is a dimension of intimacy it will surprise you you will start finding out that you are going alone to go and sit in a place the holy spirit wants to reintroduce himself to certain people lord where are they where are they find them find them tonight find rest in them where are these men and women where are these men and women that you want to introduce yourself to shake it take it beyond church Beyond church, beyond church, Arado Supra Gadiza La Curiata. Hallelujah. Ah, I'm seeing people here who will be burning for days like fire literal physical fire that will not stop you will go with it you will wake up with it it will continue there is an energizing of the spirit that is happening to people an energizing of the spirit happening to people is a fresh fire it's a fresh fire 
Hallelujah. If you came with anything that is a point of contact, whether a document, certificate, whatever it is that is a point of contact, whether you are inside or outside, anything you can use, I want you to lift it up. So many things are happening to people in the realm of the spirit. There's someone at the media stand. The Lord is lifting that person to the next level. I'm seeing someone in a vision down at the media stand. Stepping up. Let them enter, oh God. Right now, let them enter into that realm, that dimension. Somebody at the media stand. The Lord is, is like an initiation into a dimension. Into a dimension. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 19 says, Handkerchiefs and aprons. Handkerchiefs and aprons. I've explained to you the mystery behind these results. No man can speak over your life and you just have results like that. It, it doesn't happen that way. I'm about to speak over your points of contact. If you don't have anything, you are the point of contact yourself. Are we together? Many of you will be surprised. Believe me. Believe me. Many of you will be surprised at the dramatic things that will happen. We are talking about the Holy Spirit here. We are not just talking about an anointed man. We are talking about the Holy Spirit. His anointing like a cloud comes to mantle certain aspects of your life. And you see grace speaking for you. Grace speaking for you. Lift it up. You can lift your hands. Ready to speak now. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy upon every point of contact you are using now. Let a let a grace, the power of performance that makes things to work. I release it right now upon that instrument. I release it upon your documents. I release it upon your pictures. I release it upon your certificates. I release it upon your proposals. Hear me. Whatever you are agreeing for as a point of contact, I give life to it now in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit a dimension of results you have never seen begin to see it now I speak to every CGPA that is down here hear my voice I speak as one sent by the Lord I command you to arise now In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ there are people who are supposed to graduate but as it is now it looks like they may not graduate I change it now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare where your helpers have passed you and ignored you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you I put an anointing on you that will compel them to bless you. Listen. Everything that used to flow in your life and stopped mysteriously. 
I open the door for it to continue. Everyone here in business, any kind of godly business, I stretch my hands. Enter a level of rest now. Believe what I'm praying for you. I bring you into a dimension of rest now. Every troubled family here, all kinds of troubles from lack of finances to trouble, to fight, to quarrel, in the name of Jesus, I introduce an anointing to that family. And I command, let there be peace right now. 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 Every troubled family, let there be peace right now. There are people here who need divine direction as a matter of urgency. I speak to you. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. Hear his voice and hear it clear. In the name of Jesus Christ. In dreams and visions may his will be made known to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every manifestation of the spirit of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the future. Uncertainties around your life. That is making you do foolish things. I command right now. Fear. Go in the name of Jesus. 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 Every veil of disfavor that is around your life that makes things to work for others until it gets to your turn and then mysteriously when the breakthrough is almost coming you never see it I decree and declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, I command that captivity to end now. I command that captivity to end now. Hear me. Everyone called jobless here. I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I decree and declare. May your miracle job find you. Believe what you are hearing. May your miracle job find you. In the name of Jesus. Now I pray for anyone here having any infirmity. I don't care what it is. I don't care how long. Any stranger in your body. A lady is going to shout now under the anointing. And then the power of God for healing will touch people. In the name of Jesus, I command be healed now. Say amen. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Every blood disease be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Migraines be healed now. Every kind of abnormal condition in your body be healed now. Growths and lumps around the body, whether breast lumps, all kinds of lumps, I command that they disappear right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your family. In the name of Jesus, between now and the next seven days, may you hear strange testimonies from home. Please believe me. I say it again between now and the next seven days. I stand in the name of the Lord God of heaven and I command in the next seven days unusual testimonies, unusual testimonies, 
unusual testimonies unusual testimonies unusual testimonies it doesn't take time it takes his anointing everything that your hands have done and it did not work I stretch my hands to yours and I command from today become a proof producer I command today become a result producer become a result producer become a proof producer in the name of Jesus hear me Every pending issue over your life, every pending issue, any kind of pending issue right now, issues that have been hanging in the realm of the spirit and will not be resolved. I decree and declare, let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Let an end come to those issues now. Every family here that has experienced delay as a family, not an individual alone, shake it here. There is unction upon me. The hand of God is upon me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the Lord is asking me to push families forward. I push you forward now. By the mystery of prophecy, I push you forward now. I push you forward now. Hear me. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must show up in your life and lift you, and lift your mother, and lift your father and wipe your tears in the name of jesus i stand by the god of heaven whose i am and i decree and declare that between now and the next two weeks strange encounters strange encounters strange encounters with the gift of men strange encounters strange encounters mysterious coincidences that will lead to your breakthrough everything that has died in your hands and in your life hear the word of the lord i command it to come back to life now i want to pray please drop your hands just the brothers lift your hands I want to release upon you grace for establishment listen if you are wise you will pay attention to what I'm saying there is a grace that establishes men are we together now establishment is where you gain stability in life financially are we together relationally spiritually purposefully there are many men many church brothers the reason why many people are not in relationships the reason why many people cannot move forward in their life is because the devil has taken this aspect out of their lives so you find a godly brother but you are 35 years you are still begging for money you are still living in your parents house it's a cause lift your hands in the name of jesus I pray for every brother here the grace and the unction that turns weak men into great men the grace and the unction that establishes men financially ministerially career wise and in purpose at the count of three in the name of Jesus Christ whose I am and whom I serve I decree and declare may that grace come upon you now one Two, three, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Upon you, I command that grace 
there is a gentleman outside that grace is coming upon him in a mighty way take that grace right now brothers receive it now in the name of jesus christ listen it is this grace that brings speed of establishment in your life help us come to support you to gain your footing in life it's not just by growing old there is a grace you don't have to pay for everything by yourself there is a grace that sends helpers to your life to your ministry establishment is a mystery in the spirit you can have a thing but when you are established you are you are well stabilized enough to now begin to be a blessing to others there are many people who are experiencing finances here but they are not established you are established means you can bless others without being affected established in wisdom your mind is developed so that you no longer act like a child two more prayers and we're done tonight the lord is ministering to me the lord is ministering to me that he wants to take away barrenness 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 it doesn't just mean physical barrenness alone unproductivity is a cause is the cause of hardship the classic sign that a man is carrying that demonic thing is barrenness in the name of jesus i command your desert to become a fruitful vine in the name of jesus i command your fruitful vine to become a forest i say it again in the name of jesus i command your desert to be a fruitful vine i command your desert to be a fruitful vine in the name of jesus christ hallelujah in one minute i want you to ask the lord for any one thing i'm releasing my faith with you just one thing lift your voice and pray i'm releasing my faith with you please pray one minute ask the lord and watch it happen i release my faith with you in the name of jesus i release my faith with you ask the lord don't say it is impossible we are talking about the god of heaven here we are talking about the spirit of the living god what you see is the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit ask what he will and it be granted unto you by the spirit of god are you praying just one thing change my life just one thing give me laughter just one thing answer my marriage just one thing give me a child just one thing settle me financially just one thing multiply your grace on my life hallelujah whatever it is that you have asked the lord i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony in the name of jesus christ i release my faith with you and i call it your testimony listen the bible says and whatsoever adam called it that was the name thereof if it is called a testimony then it becomes a testimony in the name of jesus christ no matter how impossible it is may the god of all flesh the god of jeshurun that rides upon the wings of the wind i pray that he will step into your life and give you dramatic testimonies in the name of jesus christ you will literally start feeling the presence of the holy spirit like a presence walking literally literally i mean what i'm saying literally walking like someone walking you enter a room some of you you will feel it as wind some of you you will see that shadow a similitude of his presence you will begin to have encounters not demonic encounters encounters with his presence you will be sleeping hear me you will be sleeping and you will feel a physical touch a man will wake you 
you will be alone in the room yet you will hear a voice clear a real voice you will know that this is the spirit of god leading you in the name of jesus i activate that dimension begin to walk in the impulses of the spirit the voice of the spirit the touch of the spirit the feelings of the spirit i program your spirit man to understand the impulses of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ yes he will come to you he will come to you he will open your bible when you are sleeping you will wake up and see your bible open he will write notes and leave it physical notes on papers you will see it happen you will pray and he will come to your room like benny Hinn, it will be good morning holy spirit you will have similitudes of encounters with him you will sleep in the night and your whole night will be full of visions 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 encounters visions encounters visions hear me men will come and sit on your bed and start shaking under the anointing because something a deposit of eternity has followed you they will wear your clothes and the mantle will catch up with them they will wear your shoes they will eat in your place and you will carry strange fire in the name of jesus you will hear men call you and confess and tell you i'm sorry i'm the one who stole your laptop i'm sorry i'm the one who took this from you i'm sorry because of the presence of god listen by this new dimension of encounter i command that you become untouchable untouchable by witches and wizards untouchable by accidents untouchable by bomb blast untouchable by arm robbers in the name of jesus hear me quarter to shame your senior partner will arise for you no longer will people say where is your god your life will be an answer to that prophecy in the name of jesus christ listen there are some of you here what has happened to you tonight it will last for a long time the word of god the bible will open to you in a fresh way a way that you have never seen it a dimension that you have never seen hear me some of you after tonight god will start giving you instructions to go and pray for certain people don't be afraid you will go and you will watch miracles erupt signs and wonders erupt in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father i ask finally that everyone following online everyone following here inside and in any of the overflows everything that has made men mock god in your life i am agreeing with you from the depth of my heart i give you the next 13 days surprise them surprise them with the enviable results that will come from your life surprise your accusers surprise everyone who knew you in the name of jesus